unlimited clean energy or advanced healthcare, but also automated driving systems. And I can go on and on and on with examples. Now, as an engineer or a data scientist, you need to stay up to date with all the latest developments in deep learning and machine learning and data science and more technologies to develop top-notch innovative solutions. Michelle Hirsch, she's MATLAB Head of Product at MathWorks, and she's here to discuss the latest trends and the latest advancement in engineering and in science. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. If we look to the, the landscape of technology, data, analytics, and AI, it's changing very rapidly. Now, as a major software vendor, you work closely with your community as, as a head of product at MathWorks. Now, what are the key changes that you see in the market and how does MATLAB adapt to these? Yeah, thanks for the question. I, I really am privileged in, in this role here to sit at the intersection of computing and engineering and science. And, and just personally, I'm excited about how technology is helping us all do our jobs better uh, and easier. MATLAB's, the MATLAB core platform itself has been evolving in a few dimensions as we react to this evolving technology landscape. Uh, the first area is the an increased focus on low code workflows. And this is really about making all this amazing computing technology, computing power accessible to people without them having to become great programmers first, but then also introducing workflows that allow advanced people, advanced users who can program uh, just more faster and efficient ways to get things done. So for instance, we have these apps that we uh, let users use that allow them to solve common problems and then automatically generate code. So they have this kind of best of both worlds work of working interactively with an app and then generating code so they can get a robust program that they can use afterwards. So that's one area. Another area in low code that is just emerging that we're very excited about is generative AI tools like uh, ChatGPT. So we're all running around excited about the potential that that might bring to helping engineers, scientists, data scientists work more productively. Uh, the next area is production software development. Matlab has a very long and storied history as, um, as a tool that is used heavily in research and development for prototyping, quickly exploring ideas. You know, it's just a natural language for engineers and scientists to express themselves. What a lot of people don't realize though, is that MATLAB is also used very heavily in the development of production grade software, whether it's web apps that are powering an enterprise, end-to-end uh, -end DevOps workflow, or even the development of embedded software, such as that's powering the vehicles that we drive today. And so we've been adding a lot of support in MATLAB for the tools and workflows coming from the world of software development. And then the last area is a really important theme for us, which is integration. It's no longer just one researcher sitting in a corner getting her job done. It's teams of people building big, complicated systems. And MATLAB is just one part of that. So we've been working a lot on improving integration of MATLAB with languages like C and C++, which we've done for years, Python, which has been a major investment area of us for almost a decade now, because there's so much great stuff available in Python. And then also working with the tools and ecosystems uh, that engineers and scientists are also using, like VS Code and Jupyter and GitHub. And I'll be touching on these and many more in the keynote that I'll be giving at the MATLAB Expo on what's new in um, MATLAB and Simulink. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to, the, to that as well. And you were touching upon the integration with, with Python, and I really want to deep dive on that. Um, will there be keynotes for our workshop that are focused on the benefits of integrating MATLAB with open source solutions? Uh, yeah, there'll be quite a bit going on here. I mean, it is really a major focus of ours because we recognize that MATLAB is part of a, a larger system, especially, and so much of that system is, is open source. There's um, a few talks specific to Python. There's a new one this year on using Simulink with Python, uh, which is a really exciting new set of capabilities. People have been doing this for a little while, but we've made that a lot easier recently. And then there's a hands-on workshop on using MATLAB with Python. And this workshop is popular anywhere we take it because it lets engineers get get their hands dirty, learning how to use the latest Python libraries with the professional grade engineering tools in MATLAB. But when we also talk about open source, we need to think about the cloud because open source software just powers the cloud. So there's an entire track of talks and workshops on cloud, DevOps, and model ops workflows. There's even talks from GE Healthcare and Arizona Digital Systems on how they're integrating 
MATLAB with Kubernetes to deploy scalable DevOps applications powered by their MATLAB-based algorithms. Yeah, many sessions that you definitely want want to join. And it's always great to, to join all these many interesting sessions at, at MATLAB Expo. Um, but I'm just curious. So what is your favorite session uh, that really stands out uh, for engineers and for data scientists um, that they can really benefit from? All right, I don't know if I can pick just one. I, I'm a big fan of those hands-on workshops because they let people just get their hands dirty. And, and that's what I'm passionate about is getting technology into people's hands. So in addition to that MATLAB with Python 1, there's a great one on software development with MATLAB. Uh, as we're finding so many engineers are trying to learn how to adopt those capabilities of, of soft, that software developers have tuned over the years for doing more robust work in MATLAB. And then there's another talk I can't wait to see. I feel really privileged that we have a talk from the team at Lawrence Livermore National Lab. You may have heard the news last uh, December when there was a huge scientific breakthrough that the lab announced where they generated a fusion reaction that produced more energy than it took to start the reaction. That's a tipping point we've been looking for in the potential to use fusion for, to generate scalable clean energy. And of course, beyond my favorites, MATLAB Expo covers a ton of ground. You know, all the major applications of MATLAB and Simulink, like designing wireless or autonomous systems, electrification, AI, and a great chance just to learn from other experts in industry with case studies from Toyota, GE Healthcare, Siemens Energy, and more. Should be a good time. So it's, it's too much almost, but it's definitely something you don't want to miss. Thank you, Michelle, and looking forward to, to all these AI sessions. And don't miss out, register at matlabexpo.com if you want to join these sessions. And looking forward to seeing you there. And for the audience, thank you for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next time.